Hello and welcome to today's video. So today I am going over my March 2021 favorites and fails and there are no fails and this is really going to be a cruise favorite. So again, it's my March 2021 favorites. We just came back from a cruise from Odyssey of the Seas and those videos will be forthcoming. I just need to edit them. But um, this video, I decided when I was going through my favorites, pretty much everything was favorites from the cruise. So these are my favorites for March 2021, but they are also my favorites from the cruise. Now, the only thing not from the cruise is going to be my ears of the month, and I kind of do this every month, so I just kind of randomly picked a pair of ears, and these are my stitch ears. So I got these a couple years ago. Um, these are from Ever After by Patty. I will post a link to her Etsy shop and her Instagram below, but these are my stitch ears, and I got these, I think we were going to Ohana when they still had stitch. And um, yeah, I got them. They're super comfortable. I love her ears. I actually have a couple pairs of her ears. So super cute. If you are a Stitch fan, these are a lot of fun. She has a really, she's just a really great seller. She is, she is one of my favorite um, mini ear sellers. So these are from Ever After by Patty. And these are my Stitch ears. So let's go ahead and get started with my favorites and some things I have and some things I'm just gonna show you pictures of. Um, and the first thing I'm just gonna show you a picture of, and it is a cover up button down shirt that I got on Amazon and I got it in white and I'm probably going to buy it in other colors because it is the perfect cover up shirt. It is a button down so you, I was able to kind of wear it with shorts and then tie it and then when I just wanted to wear it as a cover up over my swimsuit, I was able to do that. And it was pretty long. I could have kind of worn it. I'm pretty tall, I have a long torso, but I was able to kind of wear it almost as a dress. It's a little short for me, but I was able to kind of wrap it also as you know a shirt and kind of tie it. So it was really, really comfortable. It was fantastic. So I had bought two cover-ups on Amazon. This was absolutely my favorite. Um, so I got it in white. It has a bunch of different colors. I wore it in a size small, so I plan on getting it. It was about $23, $24, uh, but I think it is the perfect, perfect cover up. And you know, button down, you can wear it with shorts, without. It was fantastic. So if you are looking for a cover up, for a swimsuit cover up for the summer, this one on Amazon, absolutely, you know, don't hesitate to buy because it is awesome. So the second clothing item is my swimsuit. So I typically wear two pieces. I have a very, very long torso. So wearing one piece is, is just never comfortable. I can never find swimsuits that are long enough. And also I like two pieces. I just feel more comfortable in two pieces. But we were going to Coco Cay and we were gonna be going on the water slides. I did not wanna go on the water slides with a two piece. Just it's just more risky and I didn't wanna give anybody a show, so I wanted to order a one piece. And I had heard about, I'd seen on Instagram, the brand Somersault, and everybody had talked about the, the famous, I guess the side stroke, which is their kind of one, one side asymmetrical swimsuit. So I ordered, now their swimsuits are not cheap. They run about $95. Actually, they run $95 a piece. Um, and I really wasn't sure, and I kind of ordered them literally right before the cruise. But they do have long torsos. So I have ordered um, two in the side strokes, one in uh, like a plunging neckline, and then one in the style marina. The side stroke did not work for me. Um, the side, it looked nice. It was very, very flattering. However, the side on this side, it just didn't seem secure. And especially since I was purchasing it for the water slides, I just didn't feel like it was secure. So I was instantly gonna return those. The plunging neckline, um, yeah, it just, again, it wasn't, I just, it was, it was, it didn't look unflattering, but it, I didn't think it was flattering either. My favorite of the three styles was by far 
the marina. And here's the picture of us, like we were on the, um, in the line for these, for the slides. And I just love this one. And I thought it was pretty flattering. You know, I do like myself more in two pieces. I just do, but I thought it was very flattering. And my, my husband who loves me in two pieces actually was like, yeah, it's not bad. Like, you know, I, it's, I don't, he's like, basically I don't hate it. So for him to say, I don't hate it is a compliment. So um, I got the size six and it was long torso. So I did get a long torso. Now, um, I think it could have been a little bit longer. It, it did feel just a tad bit short, but I didn't have the issue that I have normally with normal swimsuits because normal swimsuits just one pieces just don't work for me. I have an extremely long torso. It is what it is. So the long torso for six was, was great. Um, I'm looking forward to probably purchasing more of these, at least one or two more in this style. I thought it was very flattering, um, super comfortable, and I thought it was great. So for me, it was totally worth the $95, and um, I will definitely be ordering from Somersault again. Okay, so the next couple items are things that helped us organize. So the last couple cruises we have done, um, my husband and I had a grand suite. Then when we went in January, we were in a family interior. So it was, you know, a double the size. And then when my son and I went, it was just my son and I, but we ended up getting upgraded to a junior suite. And before then we were in a handicapped stateroom. So we have never really traveled in a regular stateroom because we've, you know, been placed in larger staterooms. And this was the time that we, we had placed a Royal up. We did not get our Royal up. So we were in a regular balcony stateroom and I knew we needed to be organized. I'm not naturally organized. So I knew I needed to be organized. So a couple things that I purchased on Amazon. The first thing was I bought this belt rack ties hanger and it was a two pack and I had two of these and these really helped. I was able to put on one of them, I was able to put like my bras and then the other one I was able to put all my swimsuits. So that gave me kind of a place to hang them in the room and kind of keep them so out of the drawers because you only had, I think we had five drawers total between the three of us. So I wanted to kind of keep, um, you know, my stuff as much, as much things hanging as I possibly could. So this just helped, really helped me. It was, I was able to put my bras there as well as all my swimsuits. So I was able to hang them. So I thought it was very, very convenient. Um, I will be using it in my regular closet now as well. So this, I think if you're traveling, um, I think I could, you could use it for belts, you could use it for ties, you could use it for tank tops, you could use it for so many things. But I think it was a very versatile, um, you know, item that was able to put in the closet and you could put things on it and it kept things out of the drawer and made it easy, accessible. So highly recommend it. It wasn't even that expensive. I got a two pack, it wasn't even that expensive. So highly recommend it. The next item I had heard, I think through Facebook, and it is a over the door shoe organizer and it's a shoe rack for with 24 large pockets and this was amazing so um what we did is we put it over the bathroom door and it had 24 pockets and basically anything that would be on the counter we put in there our sunscreen um i take magnesium at night i put that in there just kind of everything and we just kind of put whatever we could in there I, my son's pokemon dolls that he had we put what them in a couple pockets so we kind of put whatever we could that was kind of laying around put them in the pockets and it really helped us kind of keep the area clean made it really really um just more organized now the only thing is that it covered the door handle to go to the bathroom so at night when it was dark and you needed to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night you kind of had to search for the handle but you know it was fine um but i totally recommend it i think it was like ten dollars so it was ten dollars but it helped us stay organized and helped us keep things off the counter because you only have like the small counter space so I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Um, it was so, and the one I got like on Amazon was great because it was, it had like mesh. So it was just easy to access, you know, see everything. And I just, I thought it was 
just a brilliant idea. So I highly recommend getting this, especially if you are a party of more than two or even two people. It just helped us stay organized within the small cabin. Now the next item is this pack of four magnetic clips. So if you don't know, in the cruise cabins, the doors and the walls are magnetic, so you can put anything magnetic on it. So I got these clips and you can see they just kind of open right here. And basically any, any papers we received, we received our tickets to our excursions, the map to um, Coco Cay, anything we got that we wanted to keep, we just kind of put, these were on the door right at the, um, when you entered in, we put them on the wall right by the door and we just put the papers here. So that way they weren't laying around. We were able to easily access them and they were clipped. So we didn't lose them. We weren't looking for them. When we were going to the excursion, I knew exactly where our tickets were. So this was really, really a great idea. Very, very convenient, highly recommend. I got a pack of four. I think it was like five or $6 for a pack of four and it was just perfect. The next item also is magnetic and it's these hooks. So I got, I think a pack of 10. They hold up to 22 pounds. I didn't put anything 22 pounds on here, but um, I put, I think I had a pack of 10. So I think I put six on one side of the wall. I put these other clips on the other, and then I put four in the bathroom. So I was able to put, um, you know, our, like our hang our mask on these. And then, you know, my robe, towels, our mask, anything that we needed that we could hang. And it just makes it easy. Like it's just easy sometimes, like you just kind of hang something. So these, I want to say were maybe nine, $10 for a pack of 10, really convenient. I have them now for future cruises, but they were really, I mean, these were so sturdy. These really were, I mean, so sturdy. So we put some extra towels on there and my robe, just everything on there. So they were so convenient. So, um, you know, if you're going to be going on a cruise, highly recommend both these and these, it's just so, and also the, um, the over the door, you know, rack shoe rack because it just it just makes everything just easier to kind of try and be a little organized now the next item i got in a recent boxy charm and i talked about that i was like oh i'll probably use this on our cruise well it's amazing it is this liquid glass from dry bar it is a miracle soothing sealant and it is exactly that so you spray it on your hair before you blow it dry and the heat activates it but it seals it. And I used it before we left and then I used it while we were on the ship and blow dry my hair and straightened my hair. And it just kept it, I, a lot of times I'll straighten my hair and then I'll put it in a ponytail. And then a lot of times that will give it a kink. This prevented giving the kink. Like it kept my hair straight from when I had straightened it. So this stuff, it it is like, it's kind of, almost like a keratin treatment, but without being a keratin treatment, but it's like a sealant. It is amazing. Um, it kept the frizzies away. It kept my hair more manageable. It made it easier to style. So it's supposed to last, like you're supposed to use it like three or four times, and then it's supposed to last after that every two or three um, shampoos. So I will say I just, I washed my hair today and I didn't use it. And I do feel, but I had used it maybe three times and I do feel like it's still there. Like I still feel that my hair is more manageable. This stuff is great. Um, I had I had used the uh, Jacqueline Pro BAM, very, very similar product, similar, um, you know, effect. So, you know, whether you buy the Jacqueline Pro BAM or this dry bar liquid glass, I mean, just amazing. So if you're going to South Florida or Disney World with humidity or just basically any humid climate or going on a cruise, get something like this because you will not regret it. Okay, so now we're getting into some of the makeup products and this next product, I think I heard from Risa Loves Makeup and it is these six pack of powder puffs. So these I got on Amazon and now this is a clean one, this is a fresh one, but these are awesome. Um, they're just inexpensive. I got a six pack. Um, I got three black and three white. It doesn't really matter, but they're just so perfect. Like you just, and it was so convenient to, you know, not have to use a brush and just kind of pat my powder on 
just really, really convenient. So highly recommend these. These are, um, and then just, they're just inexpensive. So I think they're just great. Um, just, they're great, you know, for, you know, going travel, but then also just everyday makeup. I will be incorporating this into my daily makeup routine. They are fantastic. So um, again, thank you, Risa Does Makeup, because these are amazing. So the next two items were in my favorites last month. I talked about that I was going to be taking them on the cruise and I felt obligated to kind of mention them again because they were perfect. So this was what I wore during the day, not at night, but during the day. And first of all, it was the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Sunscreen. This is both a mineral and chemical sunscreen com combination. It leaves a nice glow to your skin, but it's also not greasy. It also is a little bit, it just, it's a really nice sunscreen. So this was what I put on my skin first. And then I went in with the one size BBB cream, which is the beauty blur balm cream. I am in the shade medium two. Now medium two did work for me because I was spray tanned. I probably need to get medium one for, you know, more every day, but because I was spray tanned, this was perfect. But this combination of the two was perfection. Like it just, it was perfection. So um, I just thought it was great. It was, it, it gave me a lot of coverage, but did, you know, didn't look heavy, especially if, when I didn't need powder. It was just perfection. So highly recommend. Now the next item I got just before we left through the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale, I had talked about that I was going to be getting them and it is these Tarte Maracuja lip balms. They are amazing. So I got the shades Orchid and Coconut. I also did get um, additional, I decided to get the shade Strawberry, um, but that didn't arrive until after we got back from our cruise. But they were perfect so coconut is more of a nudie shade and then orchid has, has a little bit more pink but they were perfection like i use these all the time i wish i had bought more of them because they are just no they're normally 21 dollars all 21 days of beauty they were 10 50. they're just amazing they are they have a little bit of color they kind of like a lip gloss but they're also soothing to the lip they are just like it's, it's a lip balm and they are just amazing so whenever you see these on sale get them but even if they're not on sale they are amazing the next item I also got through the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale and then decided to bring it on our cruise and are, it is these nude sticks. So one of my favorite makeup artists, Austin Ride, used these and I had kind of, kind of looked at them before but when they were part of the 21 Days of Beauty sale, I bought, I think eight. <laughs> Yeah, I bought eight. I bought five blushes, two bronzers, and one highlighter. So they're amazing. So I brought them, actually, I brought them all on the cruise. They're amazing. Um, they're perfect for cruising. Um, this is Bondi Bay. This is one of the, the bronzers that I bought. And then this is Sweet Peach Peony. This is one of the blushes. Um, I will probably be doing a video kind of sampling all eight shades that I bought, kind of comparing them. Um, but I am hooked. This, I understand why he recommends them. They are absolutely fantastic. They're versatile. They're basically a cream blush. You can use it on the eyelid. You can use it on the lip, but they were so great, especially for the cruise, especially for every day. Like I thought these were great. Um, I used these, the sunscreen and the beauty balm, and then I used this perfection. Like it just, it made, gave me that like, no makeup makeup look it was perfection so i mean i just i'm i'm people that i've i've seen that people like that love nude sticks just absolutely love them i am now in that camp so um i will probably be doing a video kind of showing all the eight shades that i bought comparing them but i think they're just fantastic and the last item i'm going to be talking about this month i have talked about in the past but again i just felt obligated because it was so perfect for the cruise and it is the cali ray mascara it is a waterproof mascara um i don't even i tried to find it i i don't know where it is i'm, I'm afraid i might have left it on the cruise but um i'm going to be purchasing another one anyway with a sephora sale because this stuff 
is the best waterproof mascara I have ever used. This is what I used. We went to the water park, the Thrill Water Park and Coco Cay. I rode a bunch of water slides. Some of them, there was one that literally threw water in your face. And my mascara never budged to the point when I went back to our room, when we got back to the ship, I took a shower. I had to get a, my a eye makeup remover to remove the mascara to be able to put on make makeup later that night. Like that's how bulletproof this stuff is. So if you are looking for a true, and it also, it held my curl, it held, it gave good volume. Like this stuff is, I wanna say it competes with the Rare Beauty. Rare Beauty is one of my favorite mascaras right now, but it's not bulletproof, it's not waterproof. I think it's water resistant, but it's not waterproof. But like, like this Cali Ray mascara is incredible. So if you are looking for a true waterproof mascara, look no further than the Cali Ray mascara. Just, it is incredible. So there you have it. Those are my March 2021 favorites, which happens to be my cruise favorites. <laughs> so things that were my favorites that we took on our cruise, um, all of those things I recommend, just, just fantastic. So if you like this video, click like, click and subscribe, that way you get a notification every time I post a new video. My cruise video vlogs will be coming shortly. I just gotta edit them, you know, real life, real job got in the way. So with that, bye everyone.